Steve Kavlowitz uh, here with one of the great legends of uh, professional wrestling, professional sports for that matter, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake, as uh, your wrestling persona was dark, you had psycho you played psychological games with, with, with yeah. your opponents, but at the same time, as, as that wrestling character developed, did you have a lot of really close bonds uh, outside the ring with a lot of the guys you worked with? No. No. Um, you know, back in those days, man, I was so hiding. I didn't want anybody to know the real story behind me. Uh, how ugly it was, uh, you know, sexual molestations and all that stuff. And uh, if you're out there and you're suffering through that, go get help. Talk to somebody. Don't try to hide it because if you try to hide it, it will eat a hole in you. And you'll wind up turning to drugs and alcohol trying to medicate it. It won't go away. It won't go away. But if you talk about it, guess what? It gets easier. It really does. So, you know, Again, so blessed in so many different ways, man. And, uh, so grateful. It, yeah, everybody thinks about you, professional wrestler, all the stories. But now it's almost like it, you want to do to others what what um, you know. And Diamond Dallas Page did to you. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I got Alex Anz Anzel, the only comedian over for me. Mm -hmm. When I met him, he weighed five hundred and fifty pounds, well, and he's under four hundred now. You know, in less than a year. So you can do anything you want. If you surround yourself with good people and uh, people that support the same values of life that you do, and uh, you got to clean the closet out, man. You know, you really do. Yeah. So live life good, man. You know, I used to, oh my God, I can't believe this stuff that I medicated myself through. And it would have been so much easier to deal with it and get on, you know. But sometimes that beast. Uh, addiction or memories or shame that gets into your life and it controls you. It's such a monster you don't want, you're, you're scared to try to beat it, but you can. Was wrestling almost for you your outlet or you knew Absolutely. you could get in the ring and block all that other stuff out? When I was in the ring, there was nothing wrong with my life. Everything was good because I controlled it. My problem started when the match was over. When I was in the ring, I was absolute control. I could make people jump up and down. I could make them sit down and cry. Anything I wanted to do. Yet, I couldn't do nothing in my own mind. Man. Too scared to try. And uh, it finally got to the point that it either try or die. And uh, Diamond Dallas Page came along at the right time. And um, stuck it out there and I went with it. Man. Did you enjoy being a heel or a face more? Heel, man. When you're a heel, you can explore things, you can do anything, you can try new things. If you're a baby face, you're kind of locked into this certain persona, kissing babies and all that. Uh, that's not the real thing. That, you know, the heel go, man, and I'll, I'll show you some stuff. At the same time, knowing that when you were wrestling in the WWE, you had the snake with you, it almost seems like you have to be heel. Because ultimately, when you're done, you're, you're, putting, you're putting a snake on somebody and letting them slither on through. Yeah, I blame that on the kids. The kids love watching Mama and Daddy squirm. You know, and if you can make mom and daddy squirm, just watch. Yeah, Jake, we love you. You know, <laughs> because they like to make mom and daddy squirm too, and uh, they get a chance to decide up with Jake. You know, the snake character is something that so unbelievable because I'm terrified of snakes. Are you really? Absolutely, I hate them. I can't stand them, and yet I had to deal with it every friggin' day, man. You wow. talk about torture. I mean, you get bit one, miss twenty-eight stitches there. That was a snake bite. These are all snake bites here. That stuff's not fun. <laughs> That's unreal. And, and most people would look at you and think that you love snakes. Yeah. You handled them. Yeah. You were you, you were you know a regular yeah. zoologist. You know this, but now what you do is if there's enough zeros in that contract, you can ah. jump through hoops and fire. <laughs> Coming back to El Paso is sweet. I mean, I used to come here with uh, the Monterey family, you know, back in the day. And you come here, you're talking about we wrestling Andre here in El Paso, and, uh, and for me, it's just so awesome to come back and. Really take a look because back in those days, you know, I was a mess and I didn't get out and, and smell the city, I didn't get out and check the architecture because I love architecture. And I come back to El Paso and I was just like blown away about how beautiful El Paso has become. 
or maybe it always was. I just didn't know it. You know, we talk now a lot in sports about uh, professional football, playing in the NFL, and how a lot of the guys playing back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, they didn't know what the blows to the head would do. Now, think about this for a second. You're a professional wrestler in the 80s, the height of, of everything, when then the WWF, before it changed to the WWE, and you guys didn't have insurance. No, sure. You, I mean, I still don't exactly right. And people don't realize that, but you do. And yet, the amount of, of bumps you've taken in the ring over the years, you know, you guys are just told the same thing. Unless the lights are out, just keep going on it until it's over. It's what we did, man. Yeah. I wouldn't change it for anything, man. Yeah, I'm all beat up, but you know what? Nobody lives a life that I live, man, and I had the moments that I have. Yeah, come on. But now I'm getting a chance to go back to these places and actually smell the roses, check out the, the cities and, and the people, and share some time with them. And then at night, you get to go out and walk down memory lane again, man, yeah. and blow it out of the water. Well, I'm glad to get out of here. Jake, I appreciate you being here.